What's up, sons? It's Blind Run with Savatech once again, and welcome to episode 35 of Mining Rig Wars. Today, you will see basically five rigs that you can vote on up in the top right corner. With the I, there will be a poll. Vote for your favorite rig. If you'd like to submit your mining rig, email submissions at sonofatech.com or head on over to the website at sonofatech.com and click the Submit Your Rig button at the top of the page. Without further ado, let's hop into it. Starting things off today, we have Rig A PVC mining by Neo. He's rocking six MSI GTX 1066 gigabytes on an MSI Z170A gaming M5 with eight gigabytes of DDR4 clocked at 2400 megahertz. He has 120 gigabyte WD Western Digital uh, Blue solid state drive, two Corsair RM650i PSUs, and he says he's got his power at 65% core clock, negative 400 in memory, overclocked 800 megahertz. Now he's mining Ethereum on these NVIDIA GPUs at 144 mega hash a second with Claymore version 11.4. Next we have Rig B, new kid in town by Umesh. He is rocking the Crosshair 4 formula with the Corsair Dominator 2 gigabyte and a Western Digital 320 gigabyte hard drive, uh, the EVGA 1200 watt pa power supply, the P2 version, and an XFX R9295X2, actually two of those. So I haven't seen those in a while, those are awesome cards. The CPU is the AMD Phenom 2 X6 1090T. His total hash rate is, get this, with two cards, well, two physical cards, four GPUs, 113 mega hash a second on ETH. I, I doubt the power is really that great though. <laughs> Rig C Miner 1 by Griso. He's rocking the Gainward NVIDIA GeForce GTX Phoenix 6 gigabyte cards. I have never seen these before. And they look very interesting. I wish I could get one just to look at it. I've never heard of the company before either. He has a G4400 for the processor and he has an A data drive for his, of course, operating system and four gigabytes of DDR4 clocked at 2400 megahertz. He has an MSI Z270A Pro with Windows 10 on an 80 gigabyte hard drive that we mentioned earlier. And he did the aluminum frame himself with 3D printed parts for, of course, the connections between the aluminum pieces there. His total hash rate is 152 mega hash a second. Rig D M1 is Zeef, or by Zeef, and he is rocking the EVGA 750 watt power supply with another EVGA 1000 watt power supply, a Cabby Lake Celeron G3930 processor on the ASUS Prime Z270 motherboard with four gigabytes of 2133 megahertz memory. He has the Kingston SSD Now 120 gigabyte solid state drive, three Sapphire RX 580 Nitro Plus editions, two Sapphire RX 570 Nitro Plus four gigabyte editions, and a single MSI Radeon RX 570 gaming. Next or last, we have Rig E. If you'd like to vote for any of these rigs, don't forget to up in the corner. And this rig is called Homeless by Eduardo. He's rocking the Asus P7 P55D. LX with an i5 760, so first gen i7 or i5, I should say. Sorry, and he has four sticks of two gigabytes of G skill clocked at 1600 megahertz, so that's going to be DDR3. An Antec EA650 power supply with an EVGA 500 watt power supply. He has a single GTX 1070 and he has two GTX 970s and a single RX 560 ASUS ROG Strix, the four gigabyte edition, not the two gigabyte. And he's running over a Wi-Fi band with the Linksys dual band Wi-Fi stick and two Corsair fans, 120 millimeters and a SanDisk USB drive with Hive OS. His total hash rate, and this is the only one I've seen running 
This is uh, 900 solutions a second on Zcash. Going back through these, the big things to note here is originality for Eduardo. Picking up, you know, the older first gen uh, Intel is pretty awesome. Now, I will say that I am also super stoked that he's the only one that submitted this week that appears to be using what I would call a, a mining operating system, and he's got Hive OS installed, so super props there as well and the only kind of downside here is there's no reason to run that much memory uh that you could just take a couple sticks out save yourself you know whatever on that portion i was curious that we only have about a total of 1150 watts however we have one two three four gpus three of which require a good amount of power. I would say about 200 a piece. So that's about 600 plus the other one, plus the system. I mean, you're gonna be okay, but it, it is cutting it close. I would want to, for sake of being safe, probably up that, that 500 watt EVGA a little bit. Also, I've had some issues with those the, the EVGAs, if you're maxing out the wattage uh, above 80%, can have some issues as well. I've blown a couple up, that's why I know. Rig D M1 by Zeef. Biggest note here is going to be that I'm super proud that he went with four gigabytes of memory, only clocked at 2133. He doesn't have anything like 2400 megahertz. Uh, the only exactly what you need to run a mining rig, so super props on that one. I don't really have any suggestions for this rig because it is laid out super awesome. I love the frame as well and just how all the cards are laid out. Super clean. The cable management, if there are cables plugged in, I didn't get pictures with the cables plugged in. So maybe we're being dece deceived on, I don't think there's actually any cable management going on. Hmm. Need more pictures. That's what we need. Rig C Minor 1 by Griso, and here's the biggest thing about this one. I really like the 3D printed fan mounts that are placed underneath the GPUs between the motherboard and the graphics cards. That's super duper clever. The only suggestions here, of course, would be to ditch Windows 10 and grab yourself a real mining OS. <coughs> Linux. Rig B, new kid in town, Umesh, is rocking the Crosshair 4 formula and the coolest graphics cards, and by that I mean opposite of pun intended, <laughs> the coolest graphics cards, the most fun graphics cards to mine on back in the day, the R9 295X2, basically those have two or dual GPUs on them, and he's getting some pretty good hash rates, of course those cards were pretty expensive, so hopefully he's been mining on them for a long time. Uh, that's, you know, one of those things that's just kind of crazy. He does have a large hard drive. I hope he's running a good operating system, <clears throat> not Windows. And then finally, Rig A PVC Mining Rig. I'm a big fan of using, using the PVC uh, for mining rigs. I have a coworker that's done it as well. It seems to be very cost effective, so super awesome there. I, I fully support that. I like that he gave us a lot of details on exactly what his kind of core clock was at and his memory. If you guys can do that when you submit, that'd be awesome. The 120 gigabyte Western Digital Blue solid state drive worries me a little bit because that means that I think he might be on Windows. And the biggest note of the day is he's rocking 1060s and mining ethereum now this is going to be a pretty popular trend that i noticed starting to happen around march and that's that a lot of people have moved to mining ethereum now with the dip in ethereum i'm sure that's going to be changing here too because it's been all over the place but that brings me to the point of don't ask me what coin is best to mine i don't know you need to find a coin that that has some legs behind it whether it offers a service or something along those lines and you need to mine it and probably you're going to be taking a loss at it at this point unless you're just in an area that has super low of course power costs so just keep that in mind i don't know and if you have ideas and suggestions leave them down in the comment section below keeping in mind that everybody's situation is going to be a little bit different 
and what they value as far as uh, different projects is going to be uh, different as well and to not uh, get in arguments over it, if that makes sense. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode of Mining Rig Wars. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. This whole thing was going to be edited on DaVinci Resolve for my first time ever. Wish me luck. See you next Tuesday.